What is up? Welcome back to another video, guys. And in this video, we are playing some more Ark, and we are continuing the Ark Beginner Guide series. So in case you're new to my channel, because I haven't done an Ark video in a few months, um, I used to cover this game a lot, and I'd like to do beginner videos, beginner tips, how to tame certain stuff, how to build certain things. And now, right now, I thought I would continue the Beginner Guide series because you guys seem to love those videos. And for all the people that subscribe to me for ARC videos, this is for you guys. I also have a ARC Beginner Guide playlist where you guys can go check out the playlist. I have a bunch of tips on how to tame your first flyer, how to build taming traps, and a bunch of stuff like that. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can tame your first T-Rex. That is right. This bad boy right here is what we're going to be taming in this video. And I'm going to show you guys, this will be more of a Beginner Guide video so if you're an arc veteran you probably don't even need this video but for beginners that's having a hard time taming one of these like I did when I first started I'm gonna show you guys the easiest way now first you would need materials to build a taming pin or taming trap to get them in there so you can trank them up easy without worrying about him killing you uh, in the process so get something that's made out of stone because they cannot break stone if it's wood they can break through wood so you have to make sure it's at least stone or metal or something higher than that now I'm not sure off the top of my head how much stone foundations we will need so I made 30 just to be safe um, so you might have to gather some materials to make them because they probably do take a lot of stone then you want to make a lot of stone door frames this will be around the trap that way you can shoot through the door frames to trank the T-Rex. The T-Rex is probably gonna be moving like crazy, biting over the wall. And the door frames I find best to shoot through when you're trying to get them. So you can make probably 40 to 60. Um, like I said, I'm just guessing off the top of my head. I can't remember exactly how much you need. And then we're gonna do wooden ramps just to get him in the trap. So we're gonna make about, yeah, make about 10, 10 to 15 should be good. Now I'm assuming if you're willing to tame a T-Rex that you are pretty much established and you have like your base set up, you have some type of weapons because obviously you're not going to do this with a slingshot, right? So um, if you don't have a long neck, then you can use a crossbow and then you want to make a lot of trank arrows and a lot of darts if you're using a long neck, trank arrows if you're using a crossbow because things can happen while you're trying to tame it. Let's say you shoot it with like 40 arrows and then he's about to knock out and then a random raptor comes up and attacks you and fucks up the whole process. You might have to start all over again, so you wanna make sure you have at least some extra arrows. Otherwise, you're gonna be run out of arrows before you can knock them out and then you just wasted so much time. And then obviously you wanna have narcotics because when you knock him out, you wanna make sure his ass stays asleep. You can use narco berries, but if you're gonna use narco berries, you better make sure you have a whole bunch to use. Um, I can't remember exactly if their torpor goes down as fast, but you want to have extra just in case. Narcotic is probably the best thing to have. If for some chance you run out of narcotics or narco berries while he's knocked out, you can shoot him with an extra dart or trank arrow and that will bring up his torpor. It might do a little bit of damage, but not enough to kill it, so that could work as well. Now, most T-Rexes are found in dangerous parts of the map. Um, I like to typically go to the snow biome because they do tend to wander around there, but there is very dangerous. So you want to make sure you bring one of your dinos with you. I have a Rex here just for uh, an example, even though he's level 7. So what you want to do now is once you find the location of the Rex, you want to find a safe location to build your taming trap. This is where we're going to lead him. And you want to find a relatively flat land. So right now this land is kind of hilly. Alright, so we're going to build a taming trap right here. Um, it's not the best flattest location but it should be enough to get the job done so we're gonna try to do I uh, see that's gonna might go up too high let's see how much we can put it and stuff like this might happen when you're building yours so you just gotta improvise one two three four five six so you can basically do six long or seven long and then do it across now some of you might not be building on uh you know flat terrain because like i said it depends on the location you found the t-rex in so that's why i'm still going to build like this for this video and we're doing about one two three four five six about six all right so six long or seven long and then six or seven wide basically making a big enough square to fit a t-rex and then you just want to continue it and close up the square the best way you can as you can see even though this is not the flattest terrain it's still possible to get it done. All right, after you have your square done, this is not the cleanest square I ever made, but you wanna put the door frames all around. And because the T-Rex is so tall, as you can see from this T-Rex right here, you wanna make the walls at least three to four high. That way when he goes in the trap, he can't walk over the walls or somehow glitch through the walls because sometimes they can't do that. 
So we're just going to do this all the way around in a big square. Okay, so now we have the stone wall frames all the way up around. You want it to basically look like this, two to three walls high. Um, the reason some walls look higher than the others, obviously, is because some of the foundations are in the ground while others are up top. So in case I put a little extra one here, so in case the T-Rex does run up this way, he can't really fight over that wall. So now you want to, the entrance of where you're going to lead the T-Rex is going to be where you put the ramps at. So for example, I'm going to have the T-Rex run this way up the ramp. So now we can put the ramp like this. And we're just going to have the ramp come all the way down to the ground. Now the ramps don't have to go across the whole side. Just enough to where you have them to run up. And then boom, this should be your taming trap. Now just to test it out because we have a T-Rex here. Just to see that he can fit in it and not jump over the wall. Comes over. Boom. You should be good to go. And then after you get him in here is when you actually trank him through the wall. So now we're going to go to that wild T-Rex over there. And we're going to try to lead him in this trap. So right now I'm going to turn off creative mode. That way I can now be, I can now be killed and I could die. So that way I can show you guys the real way to do it. So if I do die, that's on me. Now what I like to do is when I'm having a dino chase me is I like to toggle third person. So if you're on controller, um, I'm on PlayStation. So if you hold down the pad on the PlayStation or whatever your button is to put this wheel up, um, do toggle third person. That way, that way when he's chasing you, it's easy to look behind and run than when you're in first person. So now we're going to get his attention. So when he does his, his roar, that means he sees you. Now he doesn't run that fast. I always get nervous when they're behind me. You just want to have them chase you up. Don't worry if he goes to another animal. We're going to clear out this stone real quick just so we can get a clear uh, runway to the taming trap. Make sure you have a lot of weight on you. That way you don't get encumbered because this will be the worst time to get encumbered. All right, we're going to... Don't run too far away from him because then you he'll lose aggro and run off somewhere else. And make sure they come straight, because if you're coming from like the side, they have wide turns and sometimes they'll miss the trap. So you want to go up slowly. And then run through the back. You should run up the trap. I think we ran off too fast. Yeah, we ran off too quick. Let's try to go back here. See, this is what I mean. You don't want to come from the side, because now... Ooh. He bit the wooden ramp. Ah, oh, we missed it. Fuck. Okay, video did not go as the plan. Let's try to get his attention. Now, sometimes when they miss the ramp, they'll just start biting on your structures. So, in that case, you can start tranking him now if you want. But just be ready, because if he chases you, um, you bring him right back in the trap. And this is also another perfect way to just get free hits on him. Alright, we're going to try to get him... Now we have to try to bring him around so he can line up with the wooden ramps. Do a quick turnaround. Yep, make sure he comes up there. Shit, let's run to the back. Boom, and we got him in the taming trap. As you can see, and then he'll start biting on your structures. But now if you want to go back into a first person, you can and just shoot him. It does more torpor, I believe, if you shoot him in the face. And then now we just trank him until he knocks out. Normally when they're close to knocking out, you'll see them try to run away. So that means he's about to be knocked out. So you can move a little bit closer. You'll still be careful though. You don't want to stand obviously too close to the walls because he can bite right over the... Oh shit. He can bite right over the wall. I thought he was going to bite me. You should be knocked out any moment now. And boom, we have knocked ourselves out a T-Rex. So you guys can do this very easily. All you need to do is build a taming trap, find a relatively safe location, uh, be pretty well established off, like have some good dinos already to defend you because out here can be a lot of saber tubes, wolves. We got lucky and found them in this little safe area and we had the T-Rex basically clear out the area for us before we tamed them. So then once you knock him out, what you would do is you know put the narcotics in there force feed it so he can stay asleep you have to force feed it he does not eat the narcotics on his own 
and then you put whatever meat you have. Prime meat obviously works better. Um, I highly suggest prime meat or kibble if you guys have started making kibble yet. But for example, if you don't have any prime meat or kibble, you can just put regular meat. It'll take longer to tame and the taming effectiveness will go down while he will eat it. Now, another way, if you want to get prime meat, if you have like a good dino with you, even if you have like something smaller than a T-Rex, like an Allosaurus or something, you can go around the snow biome biting some big stuff that gives you prime meat and then feed it. But for this example, we're just going to use regular meat. And then boom, you guys have yourself a brand new T-Rex. All you have to do is make a saddle for it. Or if you're on a regular server, you can and you don't have, you're not high enough level to make a T-Rex saddle. You can probably ask someone on the server or ask a friend to make one for you and just give them the materials. And then you have yourself a T-Rex. If you could tame two T-Rexes, then you could breed them, make even more. If you want me to do a video on the Beginner Guide series on how to breed dinos, I could definitely show you guys as well in a separate video. Hopefully this will help someone out tame their first T-Rex and it won't be uh, much of a pain in the ass. And as always, if you want to see more ARK videos, hit that thumbs up so I guys know you actually enjoyed the series. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Peace!